News. This is Bob Rice reporting. Hi, KG4N here. Back from Field Day from uh, beautiful Jefferson County, West Virginia. And man, did I have a great time. Um, we got up there uh, Thursday evening and uh, got to uh, Kate DSJ's house and uh, he put me up for the night and uh, we had, uh, had dinner and then uh, played on the computer a little bit. I uh, went ahead and uh, tried out my general test again, and that uh, that scored 63%, so I'm getting there. <laughs> but uh, anyway, um, I'll try better next time. And uh, then we went over to Rob's house, where the clubhouse is, over there at uh, AC8BA's house, over there in uh, Summit Point, West Virginia, and uh, put in a new electrical line from the house to the garage, which hadn't had electrical service in about two years. So uh, got that all uh, wired up, and uh, we had to dig a trench across his uh, gravel driveway there because the, uh, the line goes across his driveway, so we, we had to put it underground there. So we did a good job on that. And then we proceeded to wire up the 160-meter, uh, the 80-meter uh, wire antenna and uh, got that uh, all accomplished. We had one end on a tree and, and one end on, a, on some sort of pole out in the middle of his uh, hillside yard there. And uh, then after we set that up, we set up some more uh, coax runs from his house, put that on a uh, aluminum pole, believe it or not, and duct tape that thing together up about 15 feet high, and had two lines running from his house uh, above the uh, gravel driveway into the window of the uh, garage there, which is now the clubhouse for Jefferson County Amateur Radio Club. A lot of cleaning involved. The uh, place was really dusty, and uh, so I had to uh, wipe down a lot of things and move a lot of things around. Uh, they did have a nice comfortable couch in there though, and uh, we brought down some chairs, and we had a workbench all ready to work from, and then we set up some uh, some portable tables um, to uh, to work off of and put our equipment on on the other side of the room. And uh, I installed a couple of fans and some more lights, and well and bang, we turned that place into a clubhouse real quick. <laughs> So uh, then after that, uh, Friday, uh, we were pretty exhausted, and uh, Saturday morning came really quick, and uh, Don and Tina came over, and uh, we had uh, we had set up officially the KD8 DMI clubhouse station there with about three HF radios and uh, my ICOM 2200 HVHF radio for the GOES station. Uh, weren't many contacts on uh, Simplex this year for some reason. I guess there's there's not too many uh, too many adventurous uh, type people out there with uh, with uh, radios nearby that uh, wanted to uh, let new hands try them out. So uh, we, uh, we were at a loss to explain that. But we also made plenty of contacts on HF. I think the uh, the club got about 50 or 55 contacts there in all. And operated only for a short period of time, I'd say about maybe eight hours total. So about 10, 30, 11 o'clock at night, we packed it all up, and uh, Don and Tina took off for the house over in Halltown, and we headed up to uh, Rob's uh, KTH there to uh, go to sleep for the night, and then uh, wake up again the next day to uh, tear everything down. So uh, we had a really good time, lots of great food. I barbecued hot dogs and hamburgers on the grill, and we had potato salad, baked beans, both homemade, and of course my famous signature chili, which everybody enjoyed, including Don. Unfortunately, Don's no longer with us. He passed away on Sunday night, but um, it was really good to see him operate, and uh, he uh, really complimented me on uh, on getting things ready, and, and also for the great taste in chili. So, anyway, Don, if you're up there in heaven listening, we did it all, buddy, and that's great. Anyway, uh, this is the uh, Field Day Report from RRM News. I'm Bob Rice reporting from McLean, Virginia, KG4RM. Say 7-3 for now. <laughs>